beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Matthew 11 Blessed be the name of the Lord Twenty-eight Matthew 11 the 28th verse Come unto me All ye that labor And are heavy laden Let's read on together. And I will give you rest. It says, Take my yoke upon you and lean of me. For I am meek and lonely in heart. And ye shall find rest for your souls. He said, For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I want to admonish us tonight very briefly on the subject of peace. Um, is one attribute that is grossly lacking in the world today when you put on your television all you hear is very bad negative news this person bombing this nation this person doing this when you come to our own nation all kinds of stories and um, if we do not learn how a believer is supposed to live especially in our world today we will depress ourselves we will destroy ourselves are we together now our hospitals are full of people who have inflicted themselves with needless diseases the rate high blood pressure used to be a disease for old people but right now you find teenagers in the hospital with high blood pressure stroke and all kinds of things the turbulence of living in today's world is catching up with so many people depression swallowing people up there are so many people who beginning from the first of this month probably will not rest until the first of january they are hoping to get the money to buy the cow for christmas the rice some of you are depressing yourself over your transport <coughs> excuse me your transport fare back home and all kinds of things listen let me tell you something peace is one of the cardinal representations of the presence of the kingdom the bible says the kingdom of god is not in meat and drink are we together but in what righteousness peace this peace is not just a state of quietness it's a state of rest that's what jesus said he will give he said come unto me and i will give you rest it's from the word shalom it's not just a 
a state of non-disturbance is is a state of rest the psalmist put it in a very beautiful way he says um he restores my soul he says he leads me beside the still waters the more of a leader you become the more you will see the need for peace in your life and the need to be an advocate of that peace lord make us instruments of your peace where there is let your love increase lord make us instruments of your peace walls of pride and prejudice shall see when we are your instruments the first revelation i want to give you about peace and a state of rest is that it is a choice peace has nothing to do with what is happening around you listen listen Peace has nothing to do with the external environment. There are so many people who tell you, I don't have peace because I don't have money. How can I have peace? I don't have peace because I'm not married. I don't have peace because there's no admission. I don't have peace because I have a carryover or no job or no child. Um, Satan understands that men are carnally minded. Are we together? He knows that the impulses of the carnal man is based on the things around him and so he takes advantage of the happenings in our lives all right and then brings us to a point where we cannot enjoy this shalom this restfulness there's so many people worried you see young people just sit like this and you ask them what they say life and you're wondering what is making that person so depressed what is life the only set of people we believe should have peace are those who die that's why we tell them rest in not in joy not in love because we have informed ourselves that peace is only for dead people once you are alive in this world we have programmed ourselves to believe that it is strange for a man to be a peaceful person peace is not quietness peace is not lack of noise no peace is a state of rest a settled state of rest that is based on the revelation of who god is and the integrity of his person hallelujah believe me you have mastered the art of living if you sustain a technology in the spirit to generate peace regardless of situations and circumstances at that point you are guaranteed to live long everyone say peace one of the greatest blessings that jesus brings to us is peace not just salvation but peace you can have all the money in the world and with it will come multiply troubles there are people who were more peaceful poor than they are now millionaires but cannot sleep are we together now have you not read what solomon said he said here the conclusion of the matter he said of reading many books there is no end and much study is a weariness to the soul he said but this is the conclusion of the matter fear god and keep his commandments then he says this is the whole duty of man it's too much in this life to disturb your peace every 24 hour in your life is full of enough trouble to jeopardize your life you don't have to be a bad person the world we live in from the person who greets you in the morning to the one you quarrel with before sleeping there are so many people who cannot sleep 
you ask them why they say kai but i'm, I'm a lenient person abi they are treating me too much in this life this is what they are thinking about there are ideologies that have robbed us of the peace of god the bible says that peace surpasses all understanding it's not scientific you don't calculate it is part of the true representations of a spiritual man a spiritual man has sustained a system in the spirit to be peaceful a state of rest Kai, the way people worry the way people depress themselves is a dangerous thing god gave me this word that in this season it's important for us to come once again into this covenant of peace nothing missing nothing broken nothing that is an emergency enough to rob you of that joy and that restfulness that comes in knowing who christ is hallelujah our world is full of worry everybody say worry jesus dedicated a whole chapter matthew chapter 6 talking about worry the bible says do not worry listen do you know why people lose their peace what to eat what to wear are we together and all the mundane cares of life from marriage to children to money to lack of it to too much of it to human beings there's too much to rob us of our peace husbands have lost relationships with their wives because of the cares of this world lack of peace many homes today have become habitations of worry and stress the tension that you see in the life of people is too much but there is a system there is a technology in the spirit that can keep a man restful may that be your experience listen i'm telling you if you are not a man and a woman of peace you are not walking in the experience of the kingdom it has nothing to do with whether you have money in your pocket or not many of us have tied our peace to naira and kobo so when you check and you find hundred thousand when pastor femi gave the testimony of the millions coming i saw the relief it's not your money but just the the fact that money is available gave a lot of us that sigh of relief and i felt very disappointed if you allow money to define your peace or otherwise you make yourself a slave to satan how many people smile only at the end of the month have you seen the way people are happy when they are slotting their atm even if there's nothing just the consciousness that i'm around money it's a very demonic thing listen listen this is the last teaching for the year it's a very demonic way to live you cannot tie your peace to anything in time because it will kill you fast your peace must be tied to a person not things your peace must be tied to a person his name is jesus oh i like job come on the bible tells us that job when everything whether he had it or not of course he was human but the bible lets us know that job the, the bible says he sinned not with his mouth When you check your cgpa and you see that everything works out fine then you have peace look look at how worry is killing so many people it's one of satan's greatest arsenal in our day worry anxiety depression hear what jesus said john 14 john 14 are you getting blessed tonight John 14. Verse 27. John 14, 27. Can we read it? One, two, read. Not a bank account. Listen. Peace. I live with you. So that you are not confused not peace that comes from money he said my peace 
there is a type that God gives there is a type that the world gives the peace you get when you receive salary the peace you get when your insecurities are gone people consult witches and wizards today because of lack of confidence in God insecurity has depressed men insecurity causes lack of peace he said my peace I give to you it says not as the world give it that means there is a kind of peace you get in this world peace that is tied to things are we together now and so there's depression everywhere you come and you find out that there's no light oh never eh? and you are angry and the devil says that's right I have found out that circumstances can control the peace gauge of this person and somebody just annoys you you receive a very very nasty text from somebody and while you are meditating upon it you hear that ah mama is sick at home and you sit down and say Kai what is this life about and Satan says this is it this is exactly the state I want because every time righteousness peace and joy cohabit the kingdom must find expression there and so satan knows that every time i can take one of these factors away it's impossible for that person to experience the kingdom do you not know that with all your depression five minutes without your breath and there's nothing to talk about again truly human beings are really foolish the word of god gives us wisdom you find out the way we depress ourselves over several things I once met a gentleman and I saw him so worried. I said, why? He said, at my age, my father had a car. Hi! And so, <laughs> and so I told him, I said, so what does that mean? He said, can you imagine? Ah! I can't make myself a slave like that. Even if I'm going to think, let me think of something noble constructed metals stopping you from sleeping in the night is that not idolatry are we together now think of the things that depress us brothers and sisters and you find out that at the root of them do you know that most of the things that are free in life they are the most important things the things that God knows that money cannot buy, he gave you freely. The air you breathe, the blessings of relationships, the gift of salvation. Most of the things we depress ourselves about, the truth is we can live without them. We have chosen based on an ideology to pressure ourselves. Look at the lovely sister that came to share about her phone getting bad. How many people will not sleep today? if arm robbers take well not arm, arm robbers don't steal phone I'm, that a thief anybody just carries your phone this gets missing and you see them moving around where is my phone they wake up by two they wake up by three they go to zaria city i must find out who did this peace jesus said my peace i live with you koinonia not as the world gives you frustrate satan when you have found a system that does not disrupt your peace you have found a system that maintains your rest hallelujah when satan sees that nothing in time can affect this state of restfulness we hate because we do not have the peace of god we depress ourselves we are sick sick and sick and sick people going to the hospital the doctors cannot find anything because they are depressing themselves you you are so depressed you fall down and not even know you're falling down somebody says stand up and you say you mean i fell down what were you thinking about at what age i refuse to allow anything in time it's a choice i reject it i refuse to allow anything in time corrupt that restful state it's a state i've found that is only possible in christ 
a state of rest. You will never know this peace if you are outside of Christ. There is a revelation that brings you to this peace. Let me tell you what that revelation is. If God does not open a door, it cannot be opened. Ah. And if God opens that door, it cannot be closed. I have learned by experience that worry does not solve anything. It only complicates your life and your problems. How many ladies you see them 25 depressed? Why? Husband, what is that? You are so passionate and depressed over a husband. The day he comes, you are even annoyed that he has come. Do you know there is a way you can worry over something? It does not bless you even when it comes. The worry is too much. Even the miracle, you no longer celebrate it. Jesus said, my peace, I live with you. Give it to us again, media. My peace. John 14. 27 my peace there is a kind that he gives he says not as the world gives let not your heart be what what is the opposite of peace a troubled heart he said let not your heart in other words permit it not choose to refuse your heart from being troubled. He said, neither let it be afraid. These are the things that choke the peace of God. Fear. Fear. The fear of the future. How many young people are afraid of the future? What will my life become? You are afraid of getting admission. You are now afraid of graduating. You are afraid of getting a job. You are afraid of not getting one. Ah! He leads me and guides me to the city of Papa. He leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. He leads me and guides me to the city of Papa. He leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. Anxiety is something that is, is okay with the natural man. It's part of our build up as natural men. The Bible says be anxious for nothing. Anxiety. Right? Anxiety. Anxiety has depressed people. It is that lack of peace. Anxiousness. Anxious about everything. Oh, I want to know what tomorrow holds. I want to know what this holds. And we, we go into all kinds of ungodly strategies. Because we are afraid. How many parents have gone to make sacrifices for their children? Tell me what the future of my child will be. Will he be great? Will he not be great? Tell me this and they say, okay, go and bring a cow. Go and bring a ram. I want to know. I'm afraid. Let me know. if. Tell me if I will live up to 10 years. Abba. there is a state of restfulness that when you wake up in the morning you give him all the praise and you say thank you Lord for peace you hear a news that is depressing and you say Lord in all things I cannot explain what has happened but Lord I thank you I, I may not know the details but one thing I know is that you are faithful you are faithful for the things you've done for me for the life you've given me you draw me close to you There's two 
too much anxiety in our world we are afraid we are insecure right we are troubled over nothing watch students when result is about to come out something that will be pasted and you will know anxiety makes people to be roaming around they see a lecturer and they are good afternoon sir did i pass just be patient something that in the next 10 minutes will be pasted there and will be left there anxiety do you know anxiety can preempt you and open up seasons that was not supposed to be open anxiety can make you do things you can go ahead of your destiny to your detriment the peace of god that surpasses all understanding and people look at you if you are a man of peace you must be strange because people look at you and say ah is it not you they said your father died and you say well i cried but to him be all the glory say no 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 let's go and find out we must trace the root of this and he said god is faithful <sighs> you are rejoicing and they tell you one million naira has entered your account you say i rejoice but it doesn't make any difference i am still restful and god says so the one million you say well i'm happy it doesn't change anything and the devil says where in the world do i get this person how come you have a constant state of rest regardless of what happens you are in a relationship with a guy you are happy planning your wedding and he looks and says i'm not doing it and while you cry he said lord you are faithful i may not have him but i have you give me you everything else can wait give me you I hope I'm not too late. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Listen, many of us do not know the value and the, the treasure of having Jesus Christ. I know we we profess it we claim we know but the truth is it's not in our lives the our our unrestfulness shows jesus there is something that is higher than him in our life listen if i give you one million sam right let me use money so that we understand if i give you one million sam and you see five naira falling on the ground will you leave the one million to pick it if you leave the one million to pick it what does that mean it's impossible for you to say i value this that's what that's what is responsible for the turbulence in our lives you have the greatest gift and you throw him away and you are looking at other things that are mundane because in your mind although we claim through our songs that he is everything but the truth of the matter is that our passion and obsession about things of a lesser value show that they are out they are truly the gods in our life when a man has jesus christ listen please hear me i know we live in a society that thinks what i'm saying is old school when a man has the christ and the revelation of the operation of the kingdom you have the greatest gift in your life brothers and sisters whether in plenty or in little you are a man of peace how many gentlemen are about to be bad fathers because their joy and their peace is tied to things around the moment the man is promoted everybody receives the joy the moment he fights with somebody in the office everybody is going to receive a share of that anger that's a bad life i don't have enemies in my life believe me I cannot hate a man i know this sounds arrogant it's not the natural joshua selman have i'm human but i cannot that quality is no longer in me the light of god has consumed me i found a key love never fails when was the last time they taught you this when they were teaching you on an antidote against failure did they ever teach you that love never what does never mean there is no possibility hmm love so i live a very restful life 
if I go back and I find my place burned to ashes, I will look at it and say, wow. The only pain is I will say I did not carry my books where I write the visions in my life. But in five minutes, I'm rejoicing. Satan has lost the art of wearing me. I, I humiliate him with my peace. Hmm. Are we together? I can sit down with a cup of gari and rejoice the same way I will sit down with Turkey. I can sit down in a five-star hotel and rejoice the same way I will sit down in a mat. If that is not your case, you are already in deception. The devil is about to hack your life into pieces. I will never. No, 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 no. Whether I'm, watch, I'm wearing a watch of 100,000 or wearing a rubber watch of 50 naira, it does not make any difference as far as peace is concerned. Are we together? Whether you are wearing a shirt of 1 million or you are wearing a shirt of 10 naira, it doesn't make any difference. Never allow the things around you to define your state of rest. You are not a Christian. You are not a true Christian. I'm telling you this. When that happens, I have found life. I have found peace. I'm not teaching you to be irresponsible. But I am telling you, you master living when you learn to be peaceful. That nothing in time can disrupt that restfulness. Whether in tears or in joy, whether in plenty or in little, you have learned to maintain a spiritual equilibrium. There is a, there is a, a spiritual buffer. Nothing will take you out of that state. You are a true spiritual man. Some of us are probably seated right now, depressed. I want to travel tomorrow. God knows I need 2,000. What I have is 500. Because of one five, you will not sleep. And your not sleeping will not bring it. You see the trouble? Worry was never designed to bring solutions. It was designed to depress you. If I don't trust myself, why can't I trust you? If you don't trust yourself, trust God. my peace i move up brothers and sisters i am amazed every 24 hours i watch people and i am shocked as they are at their ideology why do people think this way why can't they be peaceful why won't you choose to be peaceful listen some of you look at you are not even so old but look look at the way your life is depressed worry and anger and hatred always cynical always on the negative side talking about everything that is not working in your life and the life of people why don't you change what you see why don't you change what you see I don't see negative things all I see is the faithfulness of God in my life all I see is the mercy of God it is the goodness of God in my life God has been good to me. If he never blesses me in this life, he does not owe me anything. I owe him my life and eternity. That's how to live. That's how to live. You kept 10,000 naira, God missing. You are crying. You are yelling. You are quoting scripture. The prayers you would not have prayed to bring you into intimacy. You pray for two hours. And you start checking. Oh God, your word said, even God who called the dead and called the things that be not as though they were. Lord, me, I'm saying this thing is my own. It must come. I'm telling you, it's not the prayer of faith. It's the prayer of selfishness and idolatry. The greatest gift I have in my life, listen, is not the anointing. The greatest gift I have in my life is not money. The greatest gift I have in my life is not people. The greatest gift I have in my life is the presence of Jesus. Ah! In life and in death. The worst that can happen to me is that I will die. You will cry for seven days and say, ah, ah he taught us about long life. It doesn't matter. I'm God. <laughs> 
And at the end of it, there is peace. Many of us are already on our way to produce bad families because of depression. What is wrong? No money. How can I be happy? Are you not seeing what is happening in Nigeria? Buhari's government is this and that and that. How is it providing for your needs? Have you not read, my God shall supply? Leave that one, Jare. We are talking about real issues now. You are not a Christian. A true believer, listen, a true believer is one who has staked his life on God's word. I believe the word of God to death, to death, to death. I believe the word of God. My life revolves around it. I will never allow anything in this life to depress me. It does not have that ability. No. If I'm told today that any of my loved one is dead, God forbid, I will cry. But in it, I will get up. And the only song that will come out of my lips is the song of his faithfulness. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faith. We are saying, Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Listen, create a limit for the effect of the things in this life as far as your relationship with God is concerned. The presence of Jesus is more than gold. It's more than a billion dollars. The presence of Jesus is more than koinonia. It's more, I will give up koinonia 1,000 times for the presence of Jesus. I will give up anything, and I mean it, in this life. No. I would give, give aside every accomplishment and everything for the presence of Jesus. That's the gift I have. I, you hear people say, ah, my reputation is at stake. I don't even have one. Ah, I don't have one. I'm telling you, my reputation is his reputation. I'm too young to kill myself with that kind of ideology. I have no reputation. me thank you i want you to get a revelation tonight inside and outside as we wrap up this year make a choice that for the rest of my god-given life i choose peace i choice no matter what happens in my life i made that choice i choose to be happy people see you and say you are always laughing then they come to your house and find out that the only thing there is water there's no Gary. And they say, so why are you laughing? What's the laughter for? The laughter is because you have come into oneness with one who is greater than anything that can come. See, let me tell you, please, please. Lose the, the affection you have for things. You hear me say this all the time. You must get to a point in your life, koinonia, where nothing in time has the ability to steal away the presence of Jesus. When John, or no, not John now, when Peter was about to die, they were about to kill the body. Right? They put him on a cross and he said, no, they cannot crucify me the same way they crucified my Savior. Look at the man. He said, turn me upside down. I am not worthy to be crucified that way. What did these people know? That in the midst of their depression, Paul will write a letter encouraging people and Paul will say, I'm in chains. In chains. A man in chains telling people, count it all joy, my brethren. When you go through diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work at patience. In chains. You are not in chains. Yet, we are depressed. Please, I want you to, I want you to 
weary Satan with your passion for Jesus Christ. Weary Satan with your passion for the things of God. Oh, I wanted to give you 10,000. I no longer will give you. Say, to God be the glory. And they say, what kind of person are you? Is it that you don't get angry? You have sustained a system. For as long as God is alive, I remain peaceful. My depression will start the day someone can dethrone him. And then at that point, I know that my life is no longer secure. Listen, the oldest man on earth today is not up to 120 years. So what is the vanity? Are we together? The vanity in this life that makes us to get up. You are pursuing car. You are pursuing jeep. You are pursuing this. You are pursuing that. Oh, they said in the village, I'm not successful. Let me prove to them. Who cares? Are they successful? They in the village, are they successful? They said they don't marry fast in our family. That's their cup of tea, frankly speaking. See, learn, learn to, learn to ignore Satan. It's one way to conquer him. Ignore his proposals and you will step into a state of rest. Someone looks and says, have you gotten the admission? Say, why now? Ah, ah. Say, God is faithful. I know that he makes all things beautiful in his time. They say, oh, forget that, you know, you are disappointing us and you, you leave them away. And when you go, the devil will say, think on these things. And you say, no. The Bible says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are noble, if there be a good report, if there be any praise, he said, think on these things. God, this unemployment, why are we like this? And then you turn to your friend and say, why are we suffering like this? The friends say, Ataya, oh, Naso, Nigeria, they know. You are, you are thinking like a non-Christian. The peace of God. See, let me tell you what will happen if you are living in peace. Men must hate you. Because, you see, there is a popular saying that misery likes company. When people are frustrated, they try to look for those who are like them so that they can form a team. We, the committee of humiliated people. And the moment you refuse it, they interpret it as pride. What are you saying? Are you not older than us? At least me, I'm 28. You, you are 32. You are not depressed. You are not joining us in this. Thing. I'm, I'm not joining. I'm not a party to all of this. Five years after graduating, no job. You won't come. Let's discuss this thing. Say, no, I'm not a party to all of this. Are you willing to be that different? To ignore the mockery and maintain the peace of the kingdom? There's too much depression in our world. And I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. The person who is depressed, humanly speaking, does not even have any guarantee whether he will wake up the next day. Yet he's thinking. People have accident under the... Me, thank you. Depression makes them to begin to hallucinate. They think the road is this way, whereas it's this way. They go and bash into a tree and die. Say, I, I thought I saw the bend this way. Frustration. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. Jesus. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. I remember a man whose car had accident. When he came and saw the car burning, he fell down there and died. If that guy gets to heaven and I'm Jesus, this is the first thing I'm going to do. I'll say, what brought you here? And he said, I died. I said, of what? He said, car. I would say, go back. He must go back. For that, you must win at least a thousand souls. <laughs> oh, no, come on. You don't die and enter the gates of heaven. If I'm Jesus, you must go back and win souls. One by one, not general. One by one. You die 
because your car caught fire they stole your cloth from january you are still remembering it now see listen do you let me tell you something anything you hold on to you are telling god this is the limit of my life don't ever lift me beyond this limit because at this point this has become my god i love him you never hear me pray all those nonsense prayers oh god why me why all of these things why uh, oh god won't you won't you no 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 I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. Jesus. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. this anxiety and this rage right have you seen friends do this I, I believe you don't do it um christians should not do that but there are friends that do that um they deliberately look for trouble they keep saying things and instigating anger and then they laugh there are people who if they laugh at you there is a way they laugh at you do, do you have such kind of people in your life oh my goodness they laugh at you in a way that you, you don't you, you 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 try to check is it that i'm stupid am i a clown what is the meaning of all this if you live your life like that there are many of those kinds of people around the world you will hate yourself and you will translate that hatred to every other person around you i love myself god knows i love myself I've, I've said it again and again here that philosophy of hanging yourself even if i were not born again it would never happen to hang myself no i'd rather die in a sleep but not to hang myself who buys the rope <laughs> me go to the market and buy a rope to hang myself <laughs> say i choose to be peaceful shout it i choose to be peaceful i make up my mind to be a person of peace go home with this mindset and see how you will discomfort a lot of people because for some of you they are waiting for you there is a part of the gist that has been it's like a pie they left it for you they are hoping that you come and they say come and tell us your version of the suffering in nigeria and they say well i I have just one thing to say god is faithful and i say please please let's be real we're also christians he said this is my reality i mean it I'm, I'm not playing games and then they get angry right people always get angry when you don't conform i once met a woman who was angry said that she's been barren for a number of years and um, this was woman. She said, I went to the hospital. They said I'm okay. They said I'm okay. It's my husband that knows what A and B and C and, and you know I don't want to. He has this whole medical this in and all of that. He's the one. Blah 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 blah. From his father's side, from this and that. And I knew that this woman will not carry a child for a long time with this bad attitude. There, is, the kingdom cannot come because there is no peace. It's an equation. There must be righteousness. There must be peace and there must be joy. When these three cohabit it grants access it's like a spiritual code hallelujah and i looked at the woman i said madam the issue is not to throw blames and say it's your husband two have become one that's what the bible says if he gets money now will you say it's his money or will you say it's our money see that and i encourage her and pray with her peace i give unto you i don't know what you are going through right now but let me tell you i don't want to know one thing i know is that your way out must be the way of peace depression will never bring you solution are we together worry and discussing issues with people who cannot help you will not bring you out jesus said 
John 14, please, 27. My peace I give to you. My peace I give unto you. The Bible says one of the names he will be called is the Prince of Peace. Not the Prince of Worry. Look at Jesus on the cross. Going through the pains of the nail. And then he looks at John and says, John, behold your mother. Mother, behold your son. What kind of peace is that? A 33 year old man naked on the cross, he would have been angry. Look at Stephen when they were about to stone him. He looked into heaven. The only guy that did what Jesus did was advocated forgiveness for the people. That's a state of peace. May God make you a man and a woman of peace, I'm telling you. In plenty, it does not change you. In not plenty, it does not change you. Right? When people annoy you, and instead of you boiling around, you just find a song of melody. In moments like this, I sing out a song. I sing out a love song to Jesus in moments like this I sing out a song I sing out a song to the Lord singing I love you Lord singing I love you are going to be going home let me tell you what some of you will meet in your house poverty like never before it's not a prophecy some of you that's that's the truth you will go home and they will tell you they've not paid workers for months and then you can choose to join them in the depression or be an instrument of peace and say look i know that things are not going all right now but i tell you a day will come when we will rejoice in this house they say where is that day we are talking of now, now. Some of you, the moment your parents see you, they will be angry because they are thinking of school fees. And you tell them, no, God is faithful. Right? Some of us are going back to our loved ones. And we may not have anything much in our hands to go and bless them at home and we are depressed. It should never be so. You choose peace never allow satan depress you the lord put this in my heart to share with us tonight i'm going to prophesy and bless us for the year but i want everyone here those listening outside let nothing be so serious in this life such as to disrupt your peace there is a childlikeness you must have if you want to live into this world some of us are too matured for god to use us we are too, we are too bossy. We are too old. We are not childlike enough. I choose to be a child before his presence. I will be a child with my children and my grandchildren. I will still remain a child in his presence. To tremble at his word. Nothing is too serious in life to depress me. Nothing is too serious in life to make me hate people and get depressed all around. No joy, no peace, no. I teach you the art of living. I teach you the way winners live. The key is to hand over everything to God. I'm rounding up. I know you think you are born again, but let me tell you, when worry still kills you, you are not truly born again. There is a part of you that has not been surrendered to him. From beginning to the end, it will always be, always be you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You gave him your joy. You gave him your spiritual life. You gave him your prayer life, but your financial life you left away from him 
and that's where the devil is using to kill you because you've not handed it over we are going to do a handover ceremony where you will take every aspect of your life and say god i'm tired if it's based at, i would deep, this marriage issue will kill me this job issue will kill me this barrenness issue i hand it over listen he said come on to me all ye that are what weary and heavy laden what did he say i will give you rest do you have it do you have that rest koinonia do you have that rest today if you have it it will tell in your life if you have it it will tell in your lack of desperation for mundane things oh when will this come oh when will this no 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 i can't wait for tomorrow i can wait i can wait there is no hurry about it i can i can wait for tomorrow to come ah no i can't wait for tomorrow i just can't wait why why the only thing i cannot wait for is anything that has to do with the kingdom every time i get up on fridays when i'm around i, I almost cannot wait for evening because i want to be able to bless the people any other thing that is not direct so winning no i can't be that desperate about it i can wait can you wait for the car to come answer me some of you can't wait can you wait for the car to come can you wait for the husband to come can you wait for the wife to come can you wait for the promotion to come all the days of my appointed time i will until my change comes if you force a door to open that god did not open it will open but it will open and kill you oh i choose to wait i choose to wait the bible says he makes all things beautiful not in your time in his time he has the clock right and if you will wait for him he will beautify your life some of you cannot wait to get into ministry that's why you would die like a chicken the first person you prayed for they beat you and say don't come around our house again because god is saying wait he said no my blood is hot calm down calm down I choose to wait I choose to experience that peace there are three prayer points we are going to pray desperately tonight and then I'll prophesy over our lives and we'll be done this is the message that I want us to close coin on with the first prayer point is a prayer point of handover let me explain it and then we'll pray that you get to a point come where you take your life and donate it to God Lord I'm tired of this trouble he said my yoke is easy the one you are carrying is not easy that means it's not of God my yoke is easy and my burden is light will you hand it over to God and say Lord I'm tired of depressing myself this is my conviction I am a complete servant of God. If my reputation goes bad, he's the one to receive it. If God honors me, he's still the one to receive it. Are we together? If I lack food to eat and I don't have the energy, no soul winning, no salvation, who pays the price? If there's food to eat, I make God responsible for my life. I play my own part of the deal. And I don't, I never dapple into his part. It's God's part. Lord, I leave it to you. I have done my own part of faithfulness. I know you are, you are too faithful. And then you rest. We're going to hand over. You know, let me tell you how to know the area you've not handed over to God. The one you think about all the time. The one you are obsessed about and you are almost dying about. God is not yet lord of that area are we are we ready to pray rise up on your feet everyone please i want everybody to pray pray seriously hallelujah lift your voice and cry mention the areas in your life 
that cause you sorrow and depression and say lord i hand it over to you go ahead and pray go ahead and pray i hand it over to you oh god i'm tired of killing myself i'm tired of dying slowly it all belongs to you oh, oh, oh it all belongs to you it all belongs to you oh, oh, oh. it all belongs to you Now turn it into a prayer. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Father, I lay aside every financial worry. Pray. I lay aside every worry about job. I lay aside every worry about children. Every worry about ministry. I choose peace. I choose peace. I reject worry. I choose peace. Oh, you make me lie down in green pastures. Inside the still waters, Kabaraka to shake it a little, and Prokoto post a ticket, shake it a little to stop it, and Prokaba Baka Prateska Nabayanabanaba. Make sure you're praying. You are the Prince of Peace, and I've received you in my life. I receive your peace. I receive your peace. This wicked world, I receive your peace. Hallelujah. Listen, the Bible says, Casting all your cares upon him. For what? He cares. That's the second prayer point. Listen, don't think God does not know. That life is full of troubles are we together he's called the ancient of days don't think he's not aware of your challenges but he still he still tells you my peace I give to you the second prayer point is you are going to lay aside every trouble bring it before him and say Lord this is what is disturbing me this is that which is troubling me I, I bring it to your throne lift your voice and pray I bring it before your throne. Oh, I bring it before your throne. I exchange my burden for your burden. I exchange my yoke for your yoke. Your yoke is easy. Your burden is light. Lord, that which I've been carrying is killing me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point, listen. The last prayer point is a cry from your heart. You are going to cry and say, Lord, I lose affection for anything that is not you. I, I can use them, but they will never win my heart. Lift your voice and pray. I lose affection 
for money i lose affection pray pray lord i give you my heart i give you my soul i live for you alone every breath that i take every moment i'm away i lose affection money will never depress me pray i lose affection that loss for material things that loss for fame that loss for power that loss for accomplishment i lose it i break away from 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 it everything i've held on to The last prayer point let's add one more cause the spirit of depression worry anxiety it is of the devil open your mouth and curse it open your mouth and curse it i reject you in my life i reject you in my family i reject you in the name of Jesus I reject worry I reject anxiety I reject depression in the name of Jesus reject it reject it from your destiny my god is faithful my god is faithful i refuse depression nigeria will not make me depressed the government will not make me depressed the economy will not make me depressed the happenings around my life cannot make me depressed i reject depression god is faithful my god is alive savior he can move the mountain my god is mighty to save he is mighty to save forever author of salvation he rose and conquered the grave jesus sing savior he can move on gentlemen say after me in the name of Jesus I will be a man of peace my home will be your peace I reject depression I reject worry 
I reject frustration. I embrace the peace of God. Peace above money. Peace above fame. Peace above prestige. Peace above accomplishments. This must be your understanding. You must embrace the peace of God above and beyond every other thing. I want to prophesy to you in closing Hosea chapter 12 verse 13 help us media Hosea 12 13 this will be the last service for the year many of us from tomorrow will be traveling you cannot ignore the place of prophecy It says, and by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. Listen, when Israel cried in Egypt, God did not go to them to rescue them. God went to a man and said, are you hearing my people cry? Are we together? God would have gone to Egypt and said, okay, I have come. But God went to a man and left the salvation of the people in the hand of a man. He says by a man by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt right he says and by a prophet was he Israel preserved listen one of the greatest revelations I've had this year is understanding the operation of the body of Christ the Bible says that the church give us Ephesians chapter 2 please let's just look at that one scripture I'm about to prophesy to you and I need you to have this understanding Ephesians hmm. let's look at 19 and 20 19 and 20 quickly please Ephesians 2 19 now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints and he said all of you are members of the household of God right 21 okay 20 he says and are built upon what the foundation of the apostles and prophets Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone listen you must understand how God built the body he said the moment you get born again there are two ministries you must encounter if your destiny must arise he says you must encounter these foundational ministries the ministries of the apostles and the prophets it's not about human worship it's how God built the kingdom he said it is built upon this truth foundation there means upon this truth this revelation is called the foundation of the Lord. He said, nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord does what? Stands sure. You can't change it. It stands sure. So by a prophet, every time people cry, God never comes to them. He comes to them through a man. Go and read your Bible. When there was famine, God came to a man. There are human beings that God has sent that hold the prayer points of people that carry anointings that can open the destinies of people but the bible tells us that you have a role to play let's look at that one scripture second chronicles 2020 20, right your job is to believe second chronicles 2020 20. he said believe in the lord your god so you shall be established but it's not enough to just believe in God. He said, believe in his prophets. He didn't say the prophets. Believe in his prophets. So shall he make progress. So shall he do well. So shall he prosper. See, this is the formula. Don't try to create another one. You will punish yourself for nothing. The church was built on the foundations. Every time. God hears the cry of a people. 
he goes to a man and he says you heard their cry i thought god will come to egypt by himself but he went to moses when creation was crying in sin jesus had to become a man because they searched and no man was righteous enough so jesus became a man even god did not come directly he had to become flesh are you not seeing how it works when the revelation of the of the new testament was to come to the body a man had to be found in the name of apostle paul and he brought that fellowship of the mystery to the body of christ when satan wants to destroy you he will make you believe in god and disrespect his prophets are you seeing that he won't tell you to stop believing in god you say believe in god after all everybody has equal access to god and you will fool yourself and see that you are praying and fasting but nothing is happening when the widow in zarephath was in trouble god went to a man immediately and said i have commanded you go have you not seen it when samaria was in trouble i thought god would have gone to them he never went to the lepers he brought in a man and he said by this time the moment the man spoke god looked for lepers in other words the tool god will use is not necessary let the prophecy just come he can use anything an axe head can float back when a stick comes but it must be at the instruction of the prophet he said alas master for it was borrowed and he said where fell it if that man threw a stick nothing would happen but he did it at the word prophecy is powerful i learned this from god's servant bishop david Oyedeko. he has changed the lives of people with prophecy but it only works to them that believe you don't receive a prophetic word from a colleague you don't receive a prophetic word from a friend I've taught it here there are individuals that are not pure human beings lift your hands God's ability God's ability is working in me is working in me God's ability One more time, God's ability. Hallelujah. I've shared with you again and again my visions. How that I saw an endless sea of people, and they were crying, no food, no water. And I said, who is the cause? And they pointed at me. Ah, and I was afraid because some people had chased me to come into that small room where I was hiding. And I made up my mind. I said, I was still going to go out and rescue them. If I perish, I perish. The moment I opened the door, I saw a giant. And he held my hands. And he said, I will walk with you. Brothers and sisters, this is not, it's not about human beings or human boasting. It's about God's spiritual system arguing it is foolishness there are many prisoners today paying the the foundation of the lord and the bible says that foundation is the ministry of the apostolic and the prophetic i want to speak over your life listen the year is not too late for God to finish what he said he would do are we together oh no come on we have at least 20 more days it doesn't take time is it not a prophet of God that said by this time tomorrow it doesn't take time it's, it's only unto men according to their faith don't say it's the end of the year God does not work with human calendar he works with his word the moment the word of God comes he said he said let there be and there was in the name that is above all names. I
prophesy over your life every package that is meant to come into your destiny in this year of the rain that is yet to be delivered I prophesy it into your life right now in the name of Jesus I prophesy it into your life right now in the name of Jesus I prophesy it into your life right now in the name of Jesus every request you have dropped here from January February March April May and now it's December and it looks like God has failed you let me prophesy to you that by 31st of December in the name of the Lord Jesus you will be holding your testimony I prophesy to you that by 31st of December you will be holding your testimony it may not be possible with men but the Bible says with God we are involving God in this talk every level of prosperity you should have entered in this year of the rain and for whatever reason and by any means you have not entered it let this next 20 days days of supernatural supplies hallelujah that spirit that destroys men towards the end of the year that people would have labored have you seen obituaries 28 December 29 December some even 31st in the name that is above all names may a seal of longevity come upon your life may a seal of longevity come upon your life I forbid death from coming towards your habitation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the frustration you usually face at home there are some of us December times are times of pain poverty this December will be the best you have ever had I prophesy this December will be the best you have ever had in the name of Jesus Christ everything that has troubled your heart everything that has brought tears to your life you cannot even share with people because of the pains I prophesy to you tonight the Prince of Peace is stepping into that situation I declare unto you the Prince of Peace is stepping into that situation every challenge in your health every sickness I don't care what it is that has refused to go this night in the name of Jesus we challenge it and we command it to live your life forever we command it to live your life forever A dimension of favor you did not see from January to November I decree that you will have it beginning from this night I prophesy it again beginning from this night not tomorrow this night may that dimension of favor come over your life in the name of Jesus everything you are praying for is restoration there are people who have lost things and you are trusting God you are saying Lord before the end of the year let a miracle come the Bible says they are taking for a prey and none say yet restore in the name that is above all names I prophesy restoration for you I prophesy restoration for you in a way and a manner that you have not heard listen did you hear the testimony of Pastor Femi and his family 18 years 
even if it's one one thousand they are paying you every month at the end of 18 years you will have something to smile enough with if your salary was hundred thousand calculate it times 18 years plus benefit and allowance that kind of restoration in the name that is above all names may it come upon your life tonight i prophesy to you receive that restoration right now the testimony that you need to take home as an evidence that this was the year of the rain for you the testimony you must hold and tell people look this is a symbol of god's faithfulness i release it upon your hand right now i release it upon your hand right now in the name of jesus christ may you be a burning and a shining light in the name of jesus christ through your hands many will be healed through your hands many will be saved i place an unction of the almighty upon you that as you go back to your various locations and stations you will come back with a harvest of dramatic testimonies in the name of jesus christ next year for you will be a it will be a balance brought forward of everything everything in the years past that have refused to come it will be a balance brought forward for you in the name of jesus christ listen it is still the year of the rain are you hearing me it is still the year of the rain and i prophesy to you whatever the rain represents within these few weeks we have to the end of the year may you experience the full revelation of what the rain represents hallelujah any human upon the face of the earth who is holding the key to your blessing the key to your breakthrough in the name that is above all names from the north to the south the east and the west between now and 31st december by prophecy i call them into your life by prophecy i call them into your life in the name of the lord jesus christ samuel told saul he said as you go back you will find out that the donkey that has been missing has been found and then he said you will see three men you will see them holding bread they will give you from the bread whoever is holding what is supposed to be given to you whatever resistance and manipulation from hell is stopping them from releasing it i command that between now and the end of the year it comes into your hands in the name of jesus christ i pray for every family represented here the kind of christmas celebration you have never seen from birth in the name that is above all names may it be experienced this december whatever ties away financial supplies from your families during this festive period so that they celebrate christmas like frustrated people i decree and i prophesy in the name of jesus may it be a different one this time around for those of you who are going to be traveling far and wide we declare that the mystery of the blood goes with you all through in the name of jesus christ in one minute I like you to ask everything remaining that you want God to do. Please, in one minute, go ahead. I'm releasing my faith with you. In one minute, every other thing you are trusting God for. Don't say it can't happen. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, I release my faith. I release my faith. One can chase a thousand two can chase ten thousand open your mouth and place a demand on the faithfulness of god 
I want you to be sensitive to the new dimensions that God is introducing us to. Be very sensitive. He's not just the God of the mountains. He's also God of the valleys. He can decide to begin to operate with new spiritual formulas. Your assignment is to be sensitive. I'm telling you, it's like electricity. This is, this is the only way to describe it. And it's just moving from inside, outside. And this, the same way electricity powers a fire, electricity creates several things. That's what will begin to happen. Tonight is a night of deliverance. It's a night of impartation. Go ahead. You just be sensitive to what the Holy Spirit is doing. Go ahead.
Holy Spirit is saying, I want you to know me more. That's what the Holy Spirit is saying. I want to reveal my presence to you. I want to reveal my glory to you. The Holy Spirit is ministering to us. I want you to know me more. You have known other things, but it's time to know me. The Holy Spirit is calling us into a deeper level of knowledge. I want you to know me more. I want you to know me more. That's what the Holy Spirit is ministering to me. To say, I want you to know me more. Man of God, woman of God, prophet of God, apostle of God, I want you to know me more. I'm calling you to a deeper level, a deeper level, a level beyond religion, a level beyond religion. That's what the Holy Spirit is saying. I want to show you my presence. I want to show you my glory. I want to show you my presence. I want to show you my glory. The Holy Spirit is a person that can be known. The Holy Spirit is not just a mystery. The knowledge of Him is the victory of the saints. He is called the Helper. He says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. He said, from whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord. And he sent us his spirit as the helper. The challenge is many people never pay attention. It takes time to know him. It takes time to understand him. It takes time to walk in his presence. But that time is worth it. Hallelujah. restoring your prayer life God is giving people grace for prayer taking away spiritual laziness taking away the excuses that have caused your altar to become barren of fire he's planting a new fire without prayer revival cannot come without prayer revival cannot come the spirit of God in this miracle service is reigniting your prayer you are not a believer if you don't pray. You are not part of his army if you don't pray. The grace to pray. The grace to pray. We are at the threshold of a new revival that is coming. And there must be a reintroduction of a fresh dimension of the spirit of prayer we have seen measures we have seen faces but in this season a fresh dimension the devil has cheated many people and we go to the place of prayer and just waste our time and we really don't pray but in the name of jesus restoration of that grace for prayer restoration of that grace for prayer restoration restoration of the grace for prayer
He will step in to set the captives free. God.
tell you something the kind of deliverance deliverance is not fighting demons no an establishment of the victory of christ experientially upon your life are we together and there will be a massive massive turnaround 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 in a way that will surprise you Go ahead. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. I want you to really be angry tonight and insist that something must break open in your life. At the count of three, you will arise tonight as the God of Jeshua. The one that arrives, he rides upon the wings of the sea. Listen, as you shout that name, it's not a ritual. All I see in this room now is just fire. And I know that the Lord is going to descend with a shout like the warrior that he is. Are we together now? Whether you are in the main auditorium, overflow one, two, three, four by the road, following online. I want you with the simplicity of your childlike faith to shout that name Jesus and that fire will come upon you or just must have your mouth. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand by this apostolic and prophetic mantle and I decree and declare it's time to challenge and confront the gates of darkness. It's time for the sons of Jacob to possess their possessions. It's time for families to be stopped. Therefore, Lord, as we lift up this shout to hear in the spirit, I pray in the name of Jesus that every power and every source responsible for the region. 
of delay this delay is a wicked spirit it can tie a life and can tie a destiny lift your hands i see that fire locating a group of people lord at the count of three anyone here under the influence of delay any family here at the count of three may that spirit lift you one two three ministering very powerfully I'm still praying over delay listen very carefully I'm still praying over delay many of you do not even know that currently is delay in your ministry in your life any dimension you should have entered but have not entered is delay I say it again I stretch my hands by this anointing in the name of Jesus let the fire that will end delay fall upon you now let the fire that will end delay fall upon you now let the fire that will end delay fall upon you now says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness will be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine be counted for a forest i want to pray i don't know what keys results from our lives there are many well-meaning believers there are many well-meaning individuals you have hands but you can't eat you, there is a song we used to sing growing up it says some have food but cannot eat some can eat but have no food this, this is the category i want to address now you have capacity but no results gifted but not rewarded gifted but not blessed anointed but no one is placing a demand on your grace shalakatos shalakatos mashalakatos kete 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 shede keta ente rokas kobara ha shede kete balakata shkabarato zanda takato shabia epe kete shata makatos kabarakatos ente sekete zeketa japaru kasabaja kata ente kodo shalakata in the name of jesus i decree and declare whatever has hindered your productivity may the fire of the holy ghost separate you and that spirit now separate you and that spirit now there's a category of people god is ministering to me right now just just walk with me you always do the wrong things there is a spirit that makes you do the wrong things the wrong business the wrong relationship the wrong friends you don't know why everything in your life when there is trouble that's when you come anything good happening you will go away from it to evil he says he says the lord's prayer lead us not into temptation that means a man can be led into temptation and he said deliver us from evil lead us not a businessman can be led into destruction led into temptation a precious anointed lady with a great destiny can be led into temptation lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil listen one of the most treasured gifts that you must covet in your life 
is the ability to hear god clearly the times we live in now guess what will punish you again and again he said the lord is my shepherd and i shall not want here's how i quote it if the lord is my shepherd then i shall not want when you are many of us hear demons clearly you hear spirits clearly you hear voices nonsense voices clearly you don't need to pray to hear them but do you know that many of us now even our dreams have been hijacked and manipulated you don't even know whether it's god speaking now or not they come as an appearance of light but the message is not consistent with the integrity of god so you don't even know what to believe again dreams are prophetic avenues for the speakings of god to reach the saints but they can be hijacked and manipulated by the powers that be a lady can be manipulated to reject her husband a gentleman can be manipulated to reject his wife a person can be manipulated to reject his voice he is job there are many people they got jobs a spirit told them leave they thought it was god and they left it i'm seeing the lord is showing me a vision be sensitive something will happen here now and i'm seeing people in the realm of the spirit but i'm not seeing ears imagine like a man no ears this is what i'm seeing now i understand by this vision what the bible says he that hath an ear physically we are supposed to have ears but right now in the name of jesus this is not for everybody hold on i'm praying right now there is a grace that will open the hearing of people i stretch my hands lord where are they the men and women that need to hear you in this season for ministry to move forward i stretch my hands representing the hands of god and i command the hearing ears be open now Papa look at us here, please help them be open now be open now for business be open now for ministry be open now for your career be open now hallelujah and isaac sowed in that land he sowed in a specific there is a geography to increase it doesn't just happen everywhere there are people today if the devil wants to destroy them he will give them visa to uk they will think his breakthrough not every open door is anointed there are times the devil destroys you by opening doors it's not always closed doors there are open doors that, that are open doors towards doom he said there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death mm thou shalt show me the path of life he said for it is in your light that we see light we're going to cry for divine direction many destinies are tied down now because of divine direction or lack of it lord what is the next phase of my life you can't remain like this and just sit down what is the next season what is your blueprint lift your voice and pray show me oh god I buy into the mind of the spirit. What is your communication for my ministry, for my life in this season? I don't want to be found where you were. I want to be found where you are. Pray. He that had an ear, let him hear what the spirit is saying, not what he said. What he's saying, what he's saying, what he's saying. He said the spirit speaketh expressly, not the spirit spoke. The spirit speaketh expressly. Direction, okay. Listen, listen. Let me talk to us a little. Especially, I know that a generation of young people were very proud. We just believe that just because we went to school, we can determine the course of our lives with intelligence. Now, destiny is not just academics and education. 
you must cry part time per second for revelation this ministry by the grace of god we are where we are because not just because of the ability to hear god but the ability to stay until he says move tiredness can tell you to move weariness can tell you to move he said if your presence goeth not with us don't send us from here oh god we are not going do you know it is costly to go without god is cheaper the pain of your waiting is cheaper than the pain of knowing that you are where god is not there are men of god that started well but people encourage you and say this is how they do it in ministry when you get to this level this is the next step and you foolishly took a step a step that ate away your destiny and your progress and your blessing hallelujah it matters that we understand times and seasons and that we can wait until god says move i remember after our second crusade in this ministry the next year we we're discussing and they say where are we going i went to the lord and the lord said you are not going anywhere and i said okay we're not going anywhere ah but i thought we'd do it every year <clears throat> be careful the ritual of religion can destroy you god used to do it this way it doesn't mean he has to do it the same way the most important thing is let it be him doing it treasure of my heart and of my soul in my weakness you are merciful mm. redeemer of my past and present wrong you're the holder of my future days to come nothing in this world says jesus you're the cup that won't run dry we live our lives being in a hurry is not the same thing as speed God is a God of speed. I don't know why I'm preaching this now. This is part of the miracle service. God is the God of speed. But God is not the God of rush. There is a difference between speed and rush. Many of us, the spirit of God is speaking to someone here. You need to calm down. The way you are running with your life, you are going to land in trouble. The way you are running with ministry, you will land in trouble. The way you are approaching marriage, the way you are approaching destiny, you will land in trouble. Culture and the sociological um, context of our living can mount pressure on us to run ourselves to the ditch. My soul, wait thou upon the Lord. God is a God of speed. But until he speaks, you are on your own. It's amazing how you can be running for many years and find out that you are not moving. Running but not moving. And here comes a man, as weak as he is, but he can walk at the pace of God. And more can be achieved in one month with God than 10 years alone. Have you not learned the excellency of walking with God? He said, for with God, all things without god outside of god there are things that are not possible apostle my life i don't want to be a failure age is already um, not on my side i must make sure that i build a house now i must and god is saying calm down son you have handed your life over to me let me be lord of your life i say lord you don't know the pressure that is coming from my family let's be careful satan comes to attack us at the points of our vulnerability and hijacks us don't miss the series on friday we're rounding up the deliverance series are we together god is already speaking that's what leads many of us to this life of hustling putting your hand in everything and just rushing around and they say why say man must work all those nonsense cliches must get out of your life and your mind if god does not lead me i'm not going nowhere you may call me irresponsible, but let me die waiting. My soul waits down upon the Lord. It's now a foreign experience to many of us. 
to wait gone are the days that people will say i'm i'm waiting now, people just think waiting is fasting from six to six waiting means waiting the bible says except the lord built a house listen very carefully he says they labor in vain that build it except the lord watches over a city man of god listen businessman he says he says the watchman watched but in vain and my bible says it is vain to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow only to eat the bread of sorrow i'm speaking to someone be tired of the bread of sorrow the bread of sorrow does not feel the bible says he gives his beloved sleep There are many pastors that just get up and feel anointed and just want to rent one small auditorium and punish themselves punish their wives punish the few people that believe in them because they think ministry is just about opening a place and then we have the gods to tell people come it's not that way paul a man approved of god jesus a man approved of god Is God speaking to us? We need to have results in our lives. We are still praying. But you see, God is not a herbalist. No. There are systems. There is a way that he works. And one of the ways that he works is to direct men. And thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Walk ye in it. And you will find rest for your soul. Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying now? It matters. God is interjecting this miracle service to just minister to someone and say you are, you are hurrying up too much. You think it's breakthrough. You are running. You will soon find out that you've been around the same jungle. For someone after this service, you need to go and calm down with your life and say, I've been running since 2005. What have I done with my life? Absolutely nothing. Oh, come Lord Jesus. Come and direct me. Give me direction. Are we together? The race is not to the swift. And the battle is not to the strong. Not even bread for them that are wise. When a man subscribes to the direction of God, your life may look controversial for a while, but all that will be before you is beauty and glory. Then your life will become Beulah and Hephzibah, the delight of the nations, the excellency of waiting. The hardest thing for a believer to do is to wait. It's easy to rush. It's easy to do a lot of things. You will make more mistakes in your life rushing. There is power in waiting. Are we together? There is power in waiting. We're going to pray for the sick now. There's a lot to do tonight. But listen very carefully. If this message is for you, then I want you to receive it from the depth of your heart. You know, when we come like this, there are various things that the Lord is doing to several people. Not everyone is sick. Not everyone is oppressed. But a word can come and God says, be careful there are people about to relocate now to regions they have not sought god they just assumed let me tell you something brothers and sisters there is no place on earth called greener pastures greener pastures is a spiritual location is where the voice of god for you is god is already helping someone how many nigerians smuggle their way through the desert trying to get to lands because they believe the only difference between your locality and any locality in the world is a greater propensity to discern, appreciate, and reward value. That's all. They have a greater propensity to discern, to appreciate, and to reward value. You can be where you are if you are truly directed by God and He will come to you and bless you. Are we together now? How many of you are trusting the Lord to touch you or touch your loved ones we are going to do it very fast because the second session of this prayer I want to settle down and really really pray seriously 
and just dismantle a number of things in our lives the grand finale will be on friday but then you are here we're going to pray for the sick now i promise that we'll do that very early so that we can finish and then attend to other issues now you may not be sick listen carefully but if you are a man of god is an opportunity to watch lord what are you doing how does this thing work what can i learn you must remain a student we are all students in the school of the spirit ever learning but in this case in that learning coming to the knowledge of the truth are we together you are trusting god for a healing miracle if you are in overflow one now hold on i want to specifically minister to barren people myself so if you have any case of barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three please i want to minister to you myself please make your way very quickly and come stand you're trusting god for a miracle let's do it very very fast there is a lot to do very fast the worship team will lead us and just charge the atmosphere for us while we do this very fast and then at the same time to save time at the same time your your requests your prayer requests if you are here and you're you're yet to write your prayer request go ahead you can spare a few minutes to just write it now please listen listen very carefully except whoever is laying hands on you maybe ask you or prophesies to you or does whatever you just once they touch you just go back to your seat some of you i notice they touch you and you move to the other side of the line and still stand it's unbelief praise the lord or you are saying okay you don't know my problem is here and you are touching here the lord is showing me something about this woman you don't have fallopian tubes at all oh my god they've removed it your husband got another wife Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do? trying to embarrass this precious lady I don't know you I'm just seeing you for the first time I'm not a woman so I can't pretend to say I know what is happening here but for a woman to not have fallopian tubes all removed and now it has scattered your marriage let me ask you a question and I'm asking it boldly do you believe that God can give you new fallopian tubes Where are you coming from? Madam, let me tell you, there is a God that sits in heaven. God is not a herbalist. He's a miracle worker. Put your hand on your stomach. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus. Father, that's all right. I decree and declare brand new fallopian tubes. The God that doeth wonders. Brand new fallopian tubes. I say it again. Brand new fallopian tubes. Madam, allow for some time and go and check yourself in the hospital. Give Jesus praise. Please help this woman. It's an elderly woman. Help her, help her. So she help her. In the name of Jesus, Mama God is delivering you in Jesus' name. The Lord is showing you somebody. Just, just hold on. You, you will sing, you will go back to your singing. I just want to. I'm seeing the someone, the power of God is going to come upon you here. You are here right now on the line. I want to prophesy to that person. I, I just saw a flash of light, a very strong anointing. Bring the person. 
the lord is rolling away the reproach in your life and the lord is telling me he's breaking the power of witchcraft over your life in the name of jesus christ the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder therefore in the name of jesus i declare to you not only will you or your brother be healed i decree and declare salvation comes to your family now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please sing for us that song creator of the universe creator of the universe what can do what can do in the realm of the spirit and i'm seeing fibroid is that true how long seven years fibroid confirmed in the hospital that devil is going to leave you now
in the name of Jesus Christ. Do you have children, ma? I've not married. You are not married? Oh my God. Now you be God, Almighty God.
the Lord. Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I prophesy over the next half of this year. Hear the word of the Lord. Become for me seasons of signs and wonders. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Everyone. Shalakato Sabra Hasileka de Bakata. Make sure you are praying. Praise God. Please keep praying, keep praying. Let it become for me seasons of signs and wonders. Seasons of signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please let me see us. Say in the name of Jesus. Every dimension of grace. Every dimension of the anointing. Required for my next level of exploits. I receive it tonight in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and please pray. Every dimension. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen. That's the next prayer point. We prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be returned unto me. One more time. Everything Restore unto you the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, and even the palmer worm has taken. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that everything that has left my life and destiny that should not have left. I call you back by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. Declare that you might just be justified. Declare.
in the name of Jesus Christ say it again in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare over my loved ones hear the word of the Lord this is your season of rising lift your voice and prophesy over your loved ones please believe what you are saying prophesy I decree and declare in the name of Jesus this is your season of rising a new level of new dimension in the spirit says the Egyptians you see today he said you will see them for no more forever I like you in the next five minutes everything that has attempted to mock God in your life don't be afraid open your mouth and declare that under this atmosphere of the anointing of the spirit you are leaving my life and my family forever open your mouth and pray declares thou that ye mightest be justified pray don't entertain unbelief I cause poverty I cause failure pray Jesus cause the victory
Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you this. Was he praying? Many of us here, all you need is the ministry of helpers. Are we together now? The psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. Do you know why he spoke about the hills? Because God used the strategy of the hill to protect the people. Every time there was war, he would lead them up the hill. And if they got there, there would always be victory. Remember Elijah. When, it, when there was time for any contest, he would say, go up the hill. Mount Camel, Mount Zion, Mount this and that. And so he said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. But he said, no, no, no. Where comments my help? He said, my help, the, the hill is only a strategy. The hill is not my source. And then he says, my help cometh. That means just like faith, help to cometh. Faith cometh. Help cometh. Your help can come from other places. By divination and witchcraft, a man can attract a system of attention. But he will pay for it. Listen. Ebenezer is a revelation of the hand of God that can help a man. Blessed is a man that finds help from God many people are suffering because there is no help life can be cheap when there is help believe me when i tell you this how much is the rent that the god of heaven cannot pay it how much is it what is the job issue with a single signature a man's life can change but i told you every man who helps you has relatives who are in need it takes a grace and anointing to compel them to leave those who they are connected by blood and come to help you this world is too wicked for any kind of kindness to happen by default i'd like you to cry father in this season i'm ready to receive of the ministry of destiny helpers please open your mouth and cry be serious some of you are looking at me pray pray name of Jesus was still praying this prayer session is a very major part of tonight's miracle service and I want you to pray because people are receiving results we are still going to pray over the issue of help let me tell you the truth brothers and sisters you see this ministry by the grace of God is a product of the help of God my life as a person is a product of the help of God it is vain my Bible says to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow he said for he giveth his beloved sleep there are men of God that need help there are anointed people that need help there are intelligent graduates that need help there are married men and women that need help 
the holy spirit is called a helper the mercy of god can create a platform for help i've taught you this we are going to pray if you don't pray it will not happen i want you to be tired of your current level financially you all in god can step in and you have value you are package your value but there is no system of placing a demand you must cry to the heavens lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart prophesy to the north prophesy to the south prophesy to the east prophesy to the west where is the raven that came and fed elijah at butchery my god arise for me as a helper Shaka barakatos, shaka taka 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 ta, raka taka taka shake tepe ke teke teke le barakata ta, shama sonda barakatos ya taka ta. Help for my family, oh God. We cry for your help. Pray for your business. Arise, oh God, as a helper. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, then we were like them that dream, and then said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. He said the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again the captivity of Zion, like the streams of the Negev. Lift your voice and labor in the place of prayer. Shabakata kate bashana malakata. Skata plata tose tene ketea. Everything that is alive grows. I provoke growth in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying over the issue of help. Listen. You are going to pray for your loved ones. I know this about Africa. If you rise alone, you will not remain there. <clears throat> in Africa, as you rise, you pray for your loved ones to rise too. If you are the only successful person out of 15 people, they will stretch you and drain you. If Joseph and his brothers were also equally successful, they will not persecute him. But he was one out of many. I saw the sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowing to one person. And the brother said, no way. And they walked him out. My Bible says that a man's enemies shall be the members of his own household. Sometimes it's not binding and casting. Lord, show them mercy too. So that as I'm rejoicing, they will rejoice and leave me in peace. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. I provoke divine help over my loved ones. I prophesy to them that in this season, receive the help of the Lord. Lift your voice and pray for your loved ones financial help spiritual help career help help oh god Hallelujah. Ezekiel 37 and he took me in the spirit of the Lord and he took me to a valley and the Bible says that valley was full of bones and it says the bones were very dry bones don't dry up in one day it means they have been there for a long time we want to visit age-long situations that have refused to go you were born and you met that problem you have become an adult you have met that no 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 it must go that it has stayed long does not mean it's valid say in the name of jesus every dry bone in my life and in my family hear the word of the lord i decree and declare let life come to you now lift your voice and pray prophesy life your father lost his job since 1991 till today he has not gotten a job hear the word of the lord 
hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Oh ministry, hear the word of the Lord. Oh business, hear the word of the Lord. Oh destiny, hear ye the word of the Lord. The Bible declares that where the word of the king is, there is power. Hallelujah. And he said, Son of man, what seest thou? He said, Son of man, prophesy to these bones. And say, O bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. And all of that, he said, And as I prophesied, as I was commanded, there was a sound. And then a shaking. Notice that the bones began to look for themselves. Meaning they have the ability to restructure themselves. Kabbalah Kota Shikata. And then the bones were there, but there was no life. He says, Son of man, prophesy again to the four winds and say, O wind, breathe upon the slain. And the wind came and breathed upon the bones, and there arose an exceeding great army. Listen, God is able, God is able to turn a man's captivity overnight. He said, Have you ever heard that a city gives birth in one day? But he said as soon as zion travails we know that birth is nine months but something can happen to the rod of aaron and it can burn overnight with no root i like you to say lord let the supernatural work in my life in this season business at a supernatural rate ministry at a supernatural rate if it is the lord's doing then it must be marvelous in my eyes lift your voice and pray as soon as Zion travails, as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth a son. As soon as Zion travails, pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The apostle said, I desired once again to come to you, but Satan hindered us. Your breakthrough desired to come to you, but Satan hindered it. Your helpers desired to come to you. Have you seen a situation, Ejimi, where someone is about to bless you but before you reach your helper your enemy got there before you and told them something that turned their minds against you he said the rod of the wicked will not fall upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity please i'd like you to be angry in your spirit and pray we're not here to waste time brothers and sisters this is how victory is legislated and established in the kingdom are we together he says do not be ignorant of the devices the methodologies from the word stratomai the methodology of satan there are methods he said do not let your good be evil spoken of have you seen that that's a method that i call you and satan makes me interpret it as sarcasm I just called you to say how are you and he says so you are mocking me it's, it's important that your good is interpreted as good Jesus went to a city and they didn't receive him do you think they just they went, please carry your healing rubbish and go how many men of God were sent by God to families to help them but the devil changed their perception over that grace say no 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 anything pastor they are all riffraffs they are beggars they are liars they are hungry people they just want my money it's a strategy someone wants to teach you something and help you say no this this guy don't no 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 I desired once again to come to you but Satan hindered us how many people today would have been helped by God are we together now you heard that they are applying jobs 
but the devil made you feel that just because there are people scamming people everywhere the job that was your own was a scam too and you sat down and said no way and today you are still employed we need to cry to God to help us know what is of God and what is not of God because many times they look the same it's the spirit of discernment that will help you five people may be cheating you but the sixth person may be genuine and you can't you join anybody that comes and then you remain poor and broke forever there are families today you never talk about anything good sir they gave us a prayer no 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 that's how that useless prophet came and prophesied and collected my hundred thousand don't bring any man of god here whereas the person who god was sending was like elijah to the widow of zarephath the fact that there is evil does not mean the grace of god is insufficient please listen to me there are people today who have been ordained to be blessed to listen but satan has clouded their minds so that they are cynical about everything that is God. Are we together? I remember a few years ago, I went to a house to pray for them. I was invited and I got to the house. I usually don't go to people's houses to pray for them. And I went to the house and uh, um, I just saw the man, the, the owner of the house, the sarcasm and the look that he was looking at me here they come these hungry young men again i tried to greet him i even held wine for them so that there's no suspicion and that man from what i saw didn't have up to two months to live and i sat down i was talking with the family and the man was just looking you know you know all this do do and leave my house until by the mercies of God, God began to speak to him. At the end of it, it was him that escorted me out. He said, ah, ah, you are, you are, you know, my friend, I collected my, I said, look at this man would have missed this miracle. Brothers and sisters, some of our loved ones, you know what I'm saying, are like that. Their blessings kept passing for the last 10 years. They organize a program near your house. And they say, no, 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 no. Once it is not you, it is not God. It's an error. What of business opportunities just because people have been scammed here just because something came out and something happened they be anything business god forbid don't even mention anything oh sorry dear sir. no 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 don't talk to me and then you remain poor and broke and say god what is wrong he told joshua be strong and of good courage in life it takes audacity to know when your opportunity comes 28 of genesis god came to jacob and jacob out of his fear and cynicism was not ready for that visitation the next verses would lead him to the house of laban where he learned by his pain by chapter 32 he was ready the bible says when god came again he held him he said whether you are not god i will shall hold you it's in your holding i will find out i won't let you go till you bless me he said what is your name he said jacob he said thou shalt no more be called jacob but israel for as a prince you have power with god and you have prevailed and he touched his tie and blessed him and the bible says then the son arose and he called the name of the place peniel for he had met with god face to face i have seen god face to face and my life arose and the bible says then the son arose because it is the breaking of the day that comes with joy for as long as it is night weeping endures are we together i want us to maximize these meetings let's not just come before god and fulfill the ritual and then share the grace and go back it's time for us to move the bible says how forcible are right words you are hearing something that is waking you up and challenging you are we together i know i took i think i took i don't know if it was a whole month or so to pray for destiny help us Hey, Jimmy, your life is stranded until a helper comes. I know this. There was a man who was so crippled he could not walk. And Jesus came to town. He heard about it but could not get there. But certain people came. Your helpers will insist till you are blessed. Listen, a helper is not a well-wisher. A well-wisher is just a sociological being with a sense of empathy. A helper is sent and ordained. His ministry continues till you rise. 
some men came to david in a cave called adulam and they vowed that we must make you king you are seeing a man who is already weak no result ah when your helpers come to you it will look like a charm there will be no reason for them to remain they will call you have you gotten the job sir no sir ah after okay i'm going to abuja for you and you start saying i hope there's no string attached no 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 i only saw myself helping you in a dream are we together every destiny helper has those in need please hear me graduates hear me oh every space for a job has hundreds of thousands of others connected but when god decides to help you he said jacob have i loved jacob have i loved hallelujah jacob have i loved God changes the rules as if it's unfair to you. Hapa. There is such a dimension. The helper of Israel. When you labor and labor and labor and labor, you'll be lying to say you are giving God glory. There are many testimonies that are just a product of carnality. The way you suffered for that miracle is why you cannot give it when God places a demand. Greed has an explanation. When you, when you acquire by labor and suffering and hardship, you can't give. But if it's freely you received, it freely you will give. Are we together? Your destiny is one helper away. By the privilege of God's grace, I've been privileged to be a destiny helper to many people. And overnight, they got jobs without interview. Just because I happen to know someone in a position of influence. And I say, sir, please. There is someone can you help me i say apostle if it's you that's it the same way someone too has spoken is the help of god we rise by his help your business will open up by his help everything you have is needed on earth but it takes god to connect you to a man who is unashamed about his need for your grace it is the help of god that brought us here brothers and sisters the help of God there are pastors that need the help of God you can blow balloon and put it around you can do everything and find out that the people come and say it's cold don't we take tea in this church and be sarcastic towards you yet somebody called by God to help you will stand in the rain and say I'm sent and I'm not going anywhere when last did you receive help in your life when last did you receive help Please hear what I'm telling you. Do you know if you do things alone and by yourself, you are not blessed? Even if you succeed in doing it. Help. Help. That God arises for a man and say, young men established within 10 years, but I have chosen promise that in one month, I will do i will walk a walk in your life that if it were told you you would not believe hallelujah a few weeks ago someone called me he was he was he's planning on getting married and he went and collected the list just two or three weeks ago and the list was quite voluminous and it's challenging and he called me that he's trying to seek advice whether it's the will of God or not. I told him, I said, no, that, that is a foolish, that is a foolish concern. Are you seeing, the, you labored with a lady to go and meet her parents just because of the enormity of the list. You are now seeking whether it's the will of God, going behind. What is there to ask whether it's the will of God or not? Listen, I know that it looks like it's just a joke, but it's a serious issue. How many people have gotten high blood pressure because there is no help? No help. Ask the medical doctors, they will tell you. You buy a car alone. You look for food alone. You walk alone. You seek counsel by yourself. You advise yourself. No helper. You see people moving like Cain all around. Nobody to help. Nobody to advise you. Their pastor, Pastor Bolaji. Do you know sometimes Pastor Bolaji would call me 
and say man of god how is everything happening i hope here in the north there's nothing you know this and that you're fine everything and i say oh pastor you're a busy man why do you have to do this and he said we need to encourage ourselves and i said my god help 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 are you ready for god to really help you our message is by the grace of god are being spread on eagle's wings is by the spirit but is through the help of men 70 percent of the invitations where i go to somebody stands maybe in a church council to say bring this man of god i know see all these people from the north no 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 i know this one who knows you enough to speak for you at the gates because there are times you are not permitted to enter the chambers where your value is needed but it will take mordecai uh, mordecai mordecai is outside but mordecai needs to find favor with the king but it will take god using someone inside joseph is in the prison but destined for the throne a wine presser needs to split your case before the king one more time father listen listen whoever must rise up and be an instrument to shift me to the next level please send them to send them my way i want i i cry that you pray with all your heart men can be helped of god my help cometh from the lord there were many widows in zarafat they all needed help but to none was elijah sent except a widow in zarafat how about the rest there were many widows also needing help but God chooses to send a prophet to just one of them hallelujah the last prayer point and then we'll pray here the Bible says according as his divine power Please listen, hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. To life, I will never be the man of God who will teach you to live a defeated life at the expense of your spiritual growth. No, no. There are matters that pertain to life. There are matters that pertain to godliness. His divine power covers them all so i can excel in the matters that pertain unto godliness and still excel in the matters that pertain unto life i should not serve god and tell my children to go and beg a neighbor for food he says since i was young now i am old i have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread you know many believers in their carnality and the depravity of wisdom they think that when you begin to focus about the matters of life it's a sign that you are becoming less spiritual i can tell you from experience that the pain that comes from the issues of life can make you ungodly are we together the ladies that go into prostitution do they go into prostitution with poor men the young men that join occults all these cult groups vibrant young people and the next thing you see they are in a devilish cult somewhere it's easy for us to criticize them but you will be surprised that it's from that occult they are feeding their families compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity as a man of god i must be compassionate enough about your situation thank god for your spiritual life but i want you to do well that's what success means are we together i have food in my house right now but do you have food only a wicked man of god will enjoy and rise at the expense of the rising of others a true shepherd lays down his life doesn't climb on the ship some of you sow into my life i must teach you how others will also sow into your life it can't be all about me you are bringing seeds you are blessing me and i'm seeing the benefit of it to my spiritual life but how about you i came with a passion tonight if one person rises in a ministry alone is that a blessing no he called many sons to glory not a few 
there are many of you with business ideas there are many of you with ministries there are many of you desperately waiting for a job and men are beginning to say where is your god you are no longer young you have been praying and fasting and doing all of this if you cannot bring fruits that befit your work with god we will stop you from coming for koinonia or we will stop you from doing this and god wants to arise and prove himself mighty why won't you pray well when you eat well why won't you pray well when you the receipt of your children's school fees is being paid for i have the privilege by the mercies of god to support many families here and sometimes I, my eyes are full of tears after a powerful meeting and i see someone standing and say sir my children once upon a time two dear ladies here for five years a jimmy just to buy jam form beautiful wonderful godly ladies and that's exactly what satan wants after the prayer after falling under the anointing you get up and your needs remain and you sit in the night and say look can't i do something the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity many of us have dipped our hands in iniquity simply because of the hunger that is in your belly was it not hunger that took israel to egypt talk to me was it prosperity that took them there no there was hunger in the land and israel had to go to egypt to look for food they went to egypt and stayed until they became slaves when they began to say it's time for our exodus pharaoh looked at them and said uh-huh you are beginning to find some level of convenience don't give them straw is because you are giving them straw that they have the time to even call upon the name of the lord leave them to find straw by themselves and they say moses don't go to pharaoh again every time you want to rise it's like a it's like a thermometer the devil tries to make sure that there is a harsh climate economically and otherwise i stand to tell you you can be of influence you can be prosperous and you can be spiritual jesus grew in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men the lamb's wife is a balanced woman he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said and he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breadth equal in depth any doctrine that does not preach that balance is not presenting the lamb's wife you are showing something else the lamb's wife is a balanced city the church of god must arise and help believers to do well in life this you see a lot of people prayer warriors torn trouser torn destiny you just see them move around you now go to say i want to marry you and the girl's father says, if i ever see you near the corridor of my house he say but i praise i say so what we keep mocking the name of the lord there are many people do you know that the times that i've had counseling people a major reason why people backslide and leave god is that they get to a level in life now where the matters of life stand glaring before them and they are surprised that as spiritual as they are now the church started as a prayer meeting and you were doing well healing the sick now suddenly you have gotten to a size where you need rent and you just realize that per use is hundred thousand your prayer life just starts going down slowly all of a sudden you find out that your wife is pregnant and they say just bring something just to test and make sure she's fine say i don't have anything say well the god that we serve is a victorious god are we together many of you have the hearts to support the kingdom but the means is not there listen to me listen to me for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave in life i give you a guarantee for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave the anointing comes upon you but alongside the anointing is capacity for influence it took a man of influence called joseph of arimathea to get jesus from the cross it was not a prayer warrior that brought jesus from the cross a prayer warrior supervised his birth but a wealthy man supervised his resurrection we're a ministry of prayer we're a ministry that fasts we're a ministry of the word but we must be a ministry with results that are all around 
and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things not some things the last prayer point like naaman you may be the captain of a great army the bible says he conquered valiantly but he was crippled the one or two areas in your life i'm giving you a personal time of supplication now one or two areas in your life that must balance this equation to present christ well let's cry together and say god you have done well in this area and i thank you but lord i cry that in this area may your glory be represented in my life please lift your voice and pray please pray in my life keep praying be glorified be glorified cry to the lord in my life be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor. I just want to say thank you, Lord. You get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. Keep praying. I just want to say thank you. So many my life. Stretch your hands over the prayer requests and let's begin to pray. This is a representation of our pain. It's a representation of our needs. Just cry to the Lord. my God and my King the one who heareth them that call upon you arise in your majesty and turn these requests into testimonies it is unto you that answers prayer that we have come and Lord in the name that is above all names 
we provoke your integrity over these issues lord there are issues here that only god can solve some of the issues represented here are life and death issues we will search for you and we will find you we will find you with all our hearts we will lift our hands to you in worship and we will worship with all my heart lord i will search for you and i will find you i will find you with all my heart and i will lift my voice to you in worship i will worship You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. I speak over this request in the name of the Lord God of heaven like he has done it before may every request here before God be turned now into supernatural testimonies may God turn every situation here to supernatural testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ just give me two three minutes and we're done I want to speak over your life now when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you hold my hands everything represents shame and reproach in your life i cry to the god of heaven to roll it away like smoke before the wind in the name of jesus christ i pray for every man of god represented here fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar in the name of jesus christ every issue of concern in your career in your business and in your life i send the word of god like a messenger to reproduce the garden of eden over your issue in the name of jesus christ when a man's ways pleases the lord he maketh even his enemy to be at peace with him i declare whoever must be at peace must be at peace with you to rise i command peace to happen between you master we have toiled all night he said nevertheless at thy word i want to prophesy to you 
where you failed before go back again with an anointing go back with the grace that makes men succeed in the name of Jesus Christ and the Lord visited Sarah and she called the name of her son Isaac he said all those who hear about this will laugh with me I introduce you to a new season of laughter 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 turn again our captivities like the streams of the negative I pray for you it will be like a dream of the night the way God will turn your life around anyone here under the plague of death any family represented here that the devil has vowed that they will not see the end of the year together in joy I decree oh death where is thy sting and oh grave where is thy victory I command death to pass from over you in the name of Jesus he said let the people praise me and then the earth shall yield every crown can yield I command your crown to produce for you Amen. Daniel chapter 2 and when you read from verse 28 downwards he said but there is a God that revealed secrets I pray for you the secret the mystery that you need to hold on to in this season that will shift you to a new level the kingdom truth the revelation of the spirit because the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not the truth you need to lay your hands upon may my God open your eyes to see it and the Bible says that you shall be called all nations shall call you blessed and you shall be called a delightsome land it's called Beulah and Hephzibah a land that is desirable and Isaac looked at his sons and said the smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed I decree and declare may the fragrance of heaven that calls for favor to men may it come upon your life now in the name of Jesus Christ it says thou causes men to ride over our heads we walk through fire and through water but thou brought us into a wealthy place I decree and declare help even in the area of finances may it arise for you I say it again help even in the area of finances may it arise for you finally I pray for every family represented here and that includes those connecting with us online it doesn't matter what part of the world you are following from in the name that is above all names the Lord has made a, declare, a declaration that this is our year of signs a sign and a wonder is a miracle with a message on it therefore I decree and declare may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders I say it again may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders in the name of Jesus wave your hands and give Jesus praise thank you Jesus hallelujah paradventure you are here in this place tonight everyone please listen please no moving around let's honor the name of the Lord you are here you have seen what the Lord has done You've heard me teach and the Holy Spirit began to convict you to tell you that the time had come for you to make Jesus Lord of your life and to take him seriously. I want to give you that opportunity right now. There are people here saying, Apostle, I've heard about God. I've been around the things of God. I've been around church. I have a Christian name. My father may even be a man of God. My mother is an intercessor. But I, I declare my need for God tonight. And then there are others here who are saying, Apostle, I have given my life to Christ. But at one point or the other, I just found my life going haywire. 
and i'm saying i need jesus if you belong to any of these categories i'd like you to make a bold step overflow one overflow two the main auditorium you can walk and come out here and then overflow three you can go in front of your projector stand if you are there please make your way quickly let's honor them as they come the holy spirit is convicting someone don't wait for someone to come be the first god bless you koinonia you appreciating them in the name of jesus christ there has to be someone making a decision for jesus god bless you god bless you keep clapping as they come win that war tonight win that war god bless you as you come it says he that cometh to him he will in no wise cast away make your way make your way to this front god bless you keep coming we have one minute for you if you're coming from outside please double up your steps very quickly very quickly it's a call for total surrender lord you gave me your life i'm giving you mine right now are there people still coming make your way very quickly apostle i'm not sure if i'm born again or not i've been around the things of god but i'm not exactly sure join them join them quickly when the titanic sank there were only two names those who were lost and those who were saved no in-betweens make your way quickly hallelujah i salute every one of you if you are joining them please join them very quickly overflow three you can move to the front of your projector those online giving their hearts to jesus just follow and pray along with us by faith in the name of jesus now i want you to lift your right hand sincerely you're not reciting a poem you are speaking to the lord and he's here listening to you say after me lord jesus say it again say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for me i believe that you were raised up for my justification tonight i hand over my life to you and i receive your life in return i declare that the power of sin the power of the flesh the power of satan is broken over my life i declare that i'm a child of god i am saved the grace to walk in victory to walk in liberty is mine now in jesus name keep your hands lifted jesus i present to you the ones you died for we thank you for bringing these ones out no man can come to the father except you draw them lord jesus i pray that the grace that keeps men in this kingdom let it be supplied your people right now in the name of jesus christ i declare over your life and i decree that you are going forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ every challenge you came here with as a result of this new life let new victories come for you in jesus name i pray a big congratulations to you thank you so much now i want you to follow someone waving his hands there's a gentleman waving his hands there can i see who is waving his hands now please very quickly i'd like you to follow him all of you in concert just follow the gentleman there'll be a group of people to just meet with you very quickly and very briefly let's honor them <laughs> hallelujah dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.